Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 26 in chapter 5. In this one, when we first look at it, wow, it's so complicated. Now let's work on it together. Now we can figure out what happens. We can see a person has started moving at 5 meters per second along this slope with the mu k 0.18. And then when he reaches to this turning point, we, it looks like we can assume this velocity is v, v right? And then he just moves on the horizontal slope, on the horizontal ground. And then finally, he stops at the zero. The problem asks you to find this displacement along this horizontal ground. Uh, how can we do that? So first thing we look at is this one. If we want, we know the initial velocity, we know the final velocity is zero. It looks like we must, we want to know the x, so we need to know the acceleration and the velocity at this turning point. So we, create, we call the velocity at this turning point is v equal to v1. Okay, so this is v0, v1, and v2. And we can see we did this multiple times. If this person moves on the horizontal ground, the, ac the acceleration is due to the friction, right? This friction is the mu k times the normal force. Normal force is mg, so the acceleration is negative mu k mg. Why is negative? Because friction pointing to opposite is the motion. So this one, we can say this, if you remember that the acceleration is negative mu kg. So you can say there, you know the final velocity. You know initial velocity and then you want to know the x in you know acceleration. So it looks like we can use this equation to find the x, delta x2, right? It's so easy. But there is another problem. We don't know this v. How can we know this v? Now we look at this slope. On this slope, the acceleration can be get very easily. And we did that multiple times in previous calculations. The acceleration, we call it a1 equals the mg sine theta, because mg sine theta minus the fraction equals mass times acceleration, and then we can get it there. And then after we know the acceleration, we know initial velocity, and you can see the displacement along this slope is 110 meters, so it's very easy for us to get the v, right? So v1 minus v0 square equals 2a1 delta x, one the displacement for this one, 110 meters. So this is our strategies. So our strategies to find this x, it looks like we have several steps. So first step is what? Is we need to find the v, right? Because we can use the slope, this part, to find the v. So this is the first step. We can we find it to find the v. How can we find the v? We can say we know initial velocity. We know the we can find this acceleration and we know displacement. We we use this equation to find the v. This is the first step. After this one, the v is known. We look at the people move on the ground, and then we need to find the acceleration, and then we use the second this equation, right, to find the displacement delta x two. This is our strategies. So we look at the step one, we need to find this v, so we need to find the acceleration on the slope, a1, right? So let's see how can we do that. First thing we can see, this person is on the ground, so it has the gravity, normal force, and the friction. And in this one, we can see the gravity can be projected in x component and the y component, so we have mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. In this one, we can write equation as a y component. We have a normal force minus mg cosine that equals zero because it is stationary on the y component. And then we can add the look at the x component is mg sine that minus the friction equals mass times acceleration, right? And then this friction is mu k times f. This is mu k one because it is just zero point one eight. In this one, we can get is a one acceleration along the slope. So this one we did several times for the person on the slope. The acceleration is equal to this equation. So you can find this acceleration is three meter per three meter per second. So the look at the first step, we get this a one. After we know a one, we can find this v. Do you agree? Because the initial velocity is given, dx the first displacement is given. So you can find the v one. So next step, we find the v one. So v one. After we do the calculation, we end up the slope. We find it's 26 or 27 meters per second. So this one, the V1 is 27 
meter per second. Then we look at the next two, we need to find the acceleration for this horizontal, A2. And then we use this equation to find the delta x2, right? So this one, you can see. So for the, for the person move along the ground, so we can see the acceleration is uh, negative mu k times the g. So this is how we do the force analysis. First thing we look at the y component, the normal force equals the gravity. And then look at the x component, we have negative friction equals mass times acceleration. So in this way, we find the acceleration is negative mu k g. And then this one, acceleration is get negative 1.5. So this one, 1.5 negative. So this one is get. After we get acceleration, you can see it's easy for us to get the displacement x because v2 is 0 and v1 is get and acceleration a2 is get, so you need to find delta x2. See, we, we still use our favorite equation to get it 240 meters. Thank you.